Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, keeping up with developments in the fintech space. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Richard Harris, Senior Vice President of International Operations at Feedseye, which uses artificial intelligence to fight fraud. Richard, thanks so much for joining me today. Can you tell me a little bit about how AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning, is really helping to combat fraud? I think really it comes down to the fact that over the last 10 years or so, the world has changed a lot. And you know, data is the, the underlying you know, commodity which every bank is looking at and trying to manage. With the explosion of data that's available in today's banking world, the question is how do I make better decisions for my customers and for the bank itself? How do I defend my reputation as a bank and how do I make sure that the customer experience that I'm delivering to the customer is the very best I can be? Machine learning and AI is effectively a function of how do I deal with the sheer quantity of data that's available? Now AI isn't a new thing, it's been around for a long time. But the computing power and the quantity of data that you need to power that machine and make it work, to use machine learning effectively, is what's really come to the forefront in the last few years. There's really companies like ours that have worked out how to create the engineering platform to be able to deliver that effectively within a bank. And what are the biggest threats that banks are facing today when it comes to um, fraud and money laundering? Increasingly, the fraudsters the people doing the money laundering out there in business are using more and more advanced techniques to, to get around the rules and regulations that are there. So you have to bring a greater degree of capability to the, to the system now to be successful. Now this is effectively an arms race. This is mm. never going to go away. You've got to keep bringing better and better technology to the forefront to be able to you know, show a regulator that you're doing your best for your customers. And then how does Feedseye actually really help banks when it comes to fighting fraud, especially in online banking and in, in different transactions? The old way of doing this, I guess, is you looked at the environment and you looked at the attacks that you'd suffered previously and then you worked out strategies to stop those. Mm -hmm. Now, the challenge there is the fact that you have to have been hurt to stop yourself getting hurt again. Now, that worked in the old world because the velocity of attacks that you were under from, from the criminals was relatively low. The speed with which they could mobilise the data and the amount of data available was, was somewhat limited. But that data that you need to launch these attacks is now increasingly available. The number of data breaches is higher than it's ever been. 2.3 billion customer records were compromised in July this year alone. Mm -hmm. So that data is available on the dark web. It's available to criminal organisations to use to launch attacks against bank, to do fraud, to do money laundering operations. And in doing so, the bank comes under a deluge of potential attacks. So having platforms that allow you to bring all the data you have within the bank and look at what does good look like? What is my normal state of operations? Mm. How am I normally operating? And then detecting deviation from that is really the way you get around that because then you get to stop the attack the first time. We see hundreds of thousands of attacks happening in, in hours now against some of our clients. It really is a, a game changer in this space, the sheer quantity of data and the attack velocity that's there. So you need a system and you need a platform that can bring data across the entire bank, analyse that in real time and take effective decisions to make sure that the bank is safe. And I know that Feedsai has launched, recently launched, new tools uh, for account opening. Um, you know, what are those tools and how does it help, how do they help banks? Feedsai has been working in the account opening space for, for many years, more than five years in fact. What we've done recently is consider the fact that with the rise of digital banks and with more and more large banks launching digital arms, we needed to create templates and capabilities to get those banks to market really, really fast and bring the standardised components that they need to do onboarding processes. So on Onboarding is a critical time within the customer journey. You, know, you can make or break your relationship with the customer during onboarding. So it's not just about fraud and risk, it's about how do you balance the fraud and risk with the friction you give the customer in this space. You know, when you look at recent examples in, like you know, Goldman Sachs with Marcus, with the Apple card, that kind of customer experience is what most banks are now aspiring to. And with Feedseye launching these kind of tools, that's the kind of experience we can bring to those banks in this space to say, how do you drive that onboarding experience, make it fast, efficient and safe, maximise the throughput and get the biggest number of customers onto the platform with the least amount of friction. Okay. Feedseye is obviously working with some pretty large banks, let's say ABN AMRO, Citi, Lloyds. You know, what are some of the challenges to working with large incumbents and, then, and how, have you, how have you overcome those? So I think when I first started doing this, my big concern when I spoke to large banks was they would say to me, Rich, why, why wouldn't we build this? Mm. Um, I had one bank say to me, you know, I have more developers than Microsoft. But then you start to think and you start to think, well, would you as a bank go and build a database? Mm. 
Why? Mm. It doesn't make sense. And I think decisioning capability, when you start to look at this as a true platform within the bank to make better decisions, not just as a point solution to solve specific risk problems, when you start looking at this as a platform capability to say, how do I deploy machine learning and artificial intelligence within a bank to reduce, reduce friction, drive better customer experience and manage risk all at the same time holistically and do that across many different channels of the bank and as you digitalize the bank do that in real time so data is shared specifically within those channels for example in account opening within a bank i want to know what's going on with the account opening process but if I'm a returning customer who's had an account in good standing for years, I should have a different onboarding experience depending on my account experience over the last 10 years with the bank to somebody who's turning up completely fresh. Mm. It's that approach really in terms of how do you help a large bank bring all of the data and the assets that they have together. I'm really talking to those banks and saying, look, we're a specialist provider. We're providing better decisions for you. That's what we're here to do. I'm not here to solve necessarily just a point solution. This mm. is a platform capability that allows you to drive the best insights you can using AI. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insights, Richard. Thank you, Joy.